For about 10 years after the French Revolution, the French government attempted to, uh, to base measures of time on multiples of 10. One week consisted of 10 days, one day consisted of 10 hours, one hour consisted of 100 minutes, and one minute consisted of 100 seconds. What are the ratios of the French decimal week to the standard week and the French decimal second to the standard second? All right, fun fact, this is actually, uh, much like the Harvard Bridge question, this is also a very true thing. Like, this was actually something that happened in France during the French Revolution. They uh, started using this decimal measure of decimal time for a while. And fun fact, by the way, if you go on the Wikipedia page for decimal time, then uh, you get a lovely little clock here that shows you what time it is right now in decimal time. Uh, though you have to keep clicking update since the cache resets and the cache is recorded by your browser and you have to keep updating it. It's just a little annoying, but I doubt anyone's going to try and seriously use that type of time now anyway. So, whatever. This is a neat little thing. But as for actually answering the question, though, part A asks us to find a ratio from the French decimal week to the standard decimal week. So, according to the conventions for a French decimal week, uh, one week is ten days. And as you, I hope to God you know this already, one standard week is seven days. So we've got both little units in, uh, we've got little, both little uh, units in days then. So that'll give us a, a nice little ratio that'll work. So if there are, so it asks for French decimal week to standard week. So it's 10 then. So because because it's phrased, remember this with ratios. When it's phrased as uh, A to B, that means A has to be on top, not B is on top. It, it's uh, whatever is listed first is what goes in your numerator here when you write it out as a fraction. So in a French decimal week then, that's 10 days. And to the standard week is 7 days. So that is a ratio, which is equal to about 1.43. Now for part B, which asks for a ratio from the French decimal second to the standard second. Now we're not given a lot of information about the second specifically, but as long as we can get a ratio between two uh, similar units, or two of the same units, rather, uh, then it'll still work nonetheless. So even though we don't have specific units or tiny little fractions and how uh, the French second and the standard second is divided, we can still figure this out by uh, using what we have to get a like unit. So for example, let's try and get both our terms in terms of uh, days. So in a regular day, in a standard day, let's, how many seconds are there in that? So there are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. So 60 times 60 is 3,600 seconds in an hour. Multiply that by 24, and that would be 86,400 seconds in a day. Now let's figure out how many, how many decimal seconds there are in a day. So that would be 100 seconds in a minute times 100 minutes in a second, times 10 hours in a day, and that is about 10 to the fifth power of seconds. I my little units there. And if we divide that by each other, then the ratio we get is therefore 0 0.864.